Hey guys, welcome back to Rack of Lamb. As some of you may know, I used to live in the Lower East Side of Manhattan, New York, just steps away from Chinatown, where we were surrounded by and spoiled with good food. Something that my family and I did practically every Sunday morning was have dim sum for breakfast or brunch. Quite honestly, I didn't appreciate dim sum as a child as I do now because it was accessible and we were having it so frequently. But now that I moved to the suburbs where dim sum is scarce, I reminisce those dim sum days with my family. And speaking of dim sum and my family, you guys recently met my dad. If you haven't, make sure you go check out our rice cake video. So one of my dad's favorite dim sums is water chestnut cake or ma tai go. It's a dim sum with a jello-like consistency and water chestnut pieces that allows for a crunch in each and every bite. I recently made it for my dad and he loved it, so I figured I'll show you guys how it's done. So give my recipe a go and leave me a comment below to let me know how it went. If not, leave me a comment anyway to let me know what your favorite dim sum is. Now let's get started. For today's recipe, you'll need some water chestnuts. I picked up several fresh ones from my local Asian supermarket and used about six of them in this recipe. If they're not accessible to you, feel free to use canned ones, which will require less work anyway, given they're peeled and sliced for you. On the other hand, if you're using fresh water chestnuts, cut off the ends, then peel off the skin. Do that to the rest of the chestnuts, then give them a quick rinse. After rinsing them, dice them up, then set them aside. Next, in a mixing bowl, combine 120 grams of water chestnut flour with 300 milliliters of water, which is about a cup and a quarter. Mix until the flour is completely incorporated with water. To ensure this is so, pour the mixture through a sieve. If there's any remaining flour, pour it back into the water for more whisking. Now in a small pot, bring 300 milliliters of water with one and a half slabs of brown sugar to a boil until the sugar is completely dissolved. While waiting for the water to boil, I'm gonna grease the loaf pan with a few drops of olive oil. This ensures the cake isn't still stuck to the pan after cooking. Now back to the sugar water mixture. Continue to whisk vigorously until the sugar is dissolved, then immediately turn the fire to low. Don't let it boil on the stove top too long or the water is going to evaporate. Be sure that the fire has been turned down to low, then into the pot you're going to add the water chestnuts and your water chestnut flour mixture. It is critical that you continuously whisk over low heat because the mixture will thicken rather quickly and clump up. When it thickens, quickly transfer it to the loaf pan. Then level the mixture up with a knife or spoon. Now transfer the loaf pan to a steamer or in my case a wok with boiling water and steam for 30 minutes or until an inserted toothpick comes out clean. Remove the cake from the steamer, then allow it to cool. Once it's cold enough, run a knife along the edges and flip the pan over a cutting board. Then briefly admire how beautifully translucent this cake is. Slice the water chestnut cake into pieces and enjoy them like you're having dim sum with family or friends on a Sunday morning with some chrysanthemum tea or gok fa ta. FYI, if you didn't overindulge in these delicacies and refrigerated the remainder, you may cut them into slices, then pan sear them straight out of the fridge. During dim sum on Sundays with my family, I recall the cart ladies giving my dad an option to eat the ma tai go as is or searing them directly in the cart. They're pretty good either way in my opinion, but notice that they may be a little tough upon refrigeration, so you may have to warm them up on a pan anyway. Sear them a little longer if you wish, but I think mine are done. Look at the nice gloss that the oil leaves on the cake. 
This dim sum is gelatinous and slightly sweetened, and the water chestnut pieces add a nice crunchy texture to each bite. No wonder why this is one of my dad's favorite dim sums. And if you enjoyed it as well, please like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.